Hey everybody, what's up? Tyler here with T Game and Tech, and today I'm going to be going over iPhoto, which is a new addition to the iLife series, which is for the iPad 2 and later and the iPhone 4 and later. And this is basically my first look at iPhoto, and I'm just going to be going through a couple things with you guys and giving you guys a first look. So basically, we have a couple settings up here we can change and use. We can beam to other devices, we can share, um, all kinds of cool stuff. And so we're just going to open up into these photos here. I'm just going to select one and we're just going to work through it. At first you might say, I don't know what I'm doing, but if you click on this question mark up here, this is really helpful. You can see all things, you can see all things, and you can see what all things mean, and what different tools mean, and this changes throughout the actual app when you go use different tools. Um, you can click the help button, and it will show you what each tool does, um, what each button does, and it has a little arrow if you want to read a little bit more about what it actually does. So I just think this is extremely helpful, and I will definitely be making use of this when I get more use of the app. So you can see I have all kinds of options down here at the bottom after I click edit. And this is just an automatically enhanced button. And if I click that, it just automatically enhances it. And if you click on this button up here at the top, you can see your previous picture and the one you just edited. You can't tell much of a difference here on camera, but it does brighten it up and enrich, enrich the colors a little bit. Um, you can see it a little bit, um, but it really didn't do much for that picture. So let's just say I want to do something else. So with this, I can actually rotate the picture. Um, but over here, I have other tools where I can adjust the color, saturation. If I want to take all the color out of it and make it black and white. If I want to enhance the grays or the greens or the blues or the, all these colors, I can do that here. There's a lot of options. It's very deep. And like before, you can switch between the original and the new photo that you actually have been editing. So you have all these choices of brushes. I'm not going to go through each one because um, this is just a little preview. It's, I'll do a full review later where I talk about the app in general. But as you can see, as I swipe with the brush, it actually uses the brush effect. And it's not very, this isn't a very good picture example. I'm just fooling around, just showing you guys proof of concept. But like before, you can tap this button to see the original version and the new version. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of features here. Um, I'll be going through them later. Um, there's a lot of presets you can use right here, kind of like Instagram. Um, but you have all these different sharing options also. You can share on Facebook, on Flickr, uh, Twitter, and a bunch of other things. But overall, I think this is a great app. It's only $4.99. Not bad. It goes with the iLife, other apps. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this first look, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, there will be another video coming later that reviews this whole app. Um, so I would highly suggest it if you're looking for a really good photo editing app um, for the iPad 2 and above or the iPhone 4 and above. So stay tuned for the full review. And once again, thank you guys for watching my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.